All right, we've got some coffee. I've had a shave. It's that time of week again. It's the Ringmakers Weekly Roundup Review, episode nine, which is a weekly show where I react to the handmade items that you share with me, as well as news from the maker community um, and some of the coolest YouTube videos for you crafty folk. So, I've had an epic week of submissions. Uh, more submissions this week than ever before, which is a good sign, I think. I hope that this series is growing with some momentum. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether it's alienating a large portion of my audience, but some of you seem to enjoy it. Uh, and as long as you guys keep submitting your work, I think I'll keep on doing this. So, if you do want to get featured on next week's show, uh, which happens every Thursday uh, at 6.30 p.m. UK time, then post something on Facebook or Instagram and use uh, my Instagram handle, at Zebrano Woodcraft. Tag me in the post, uh, or you can share it with me via a DM or an email, um, and you have a chance of being featured on the show. If you didn't get featured this week, I'm really sorry. I'm just forgetful. Sometimes I have hangovers <laughs> and I forget things, so I'm sorry. But yeah, you know, I think uh, I've pretty much included everyone this week, so it should be a fun time. Spoiler alert: there might even be a unicorn skull. Okay, so to kick things off this week, I have created something which you guys can get for free, which is awesome. Uh, I've had plenty of people asking me like, "When are you gonna bring out more tutorials? When are you gonna, you know?" Do some more interesting content well my friends i have and it's available for you uh, for free for 14 days on a platform called skillshare so for those of you who don't know skillshare is an online learning platform uh, where experts and creators uh, make these amazing classes uh, covering lots of different subjects, everything from uh, film and video right through to uh, art and photography, as well as business skills. So basically, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can learn on this platform. Now, I have been ticking away in secret, and I've made a few Skillshare classes, which I have yet to uh, promote here on YouTube. But today is the day. Um, so, listen, if you want to get access to these classes that I've made, um, there's a couple that you won't find on YouTube, like how to make a hammered silver ring, or more importantly for you guys submitting work for my consideration, is the product photography tips for Etsy class that I created. Here's a little preview inside the class where I teach you uh, different ways to uh, take photos of rings, uh, all of my photography gear, and even some tips about um, what editing software to use and how to you know, touch up your photos, like removing bits of fluff and stuff. Um, it's really in depth, it's a 45 minute class and you can get access to that for free. So if you follow the link in the description to Skillshare, sign up, you get a 14 day free trial. After the free trial, uh, Skillshare is $19 a month, but you can cancel at any time. And you also get access to all of the classes on the platform, not just mine. Um, and there are some seriously skilled and knowledgeable creators on there. Full disclaimer, if you do use my link, then I get a small minuscule uh, financial reward, but it doesn't affect the price that you pay in any way. So it's just another way that you can help to support my channel. You know what I mean? Because contrary to what people might think, you don't make much money at all on YouTube. <laughs> so shall we crack on with some news? Some news. Yes. Uh, I think I've only got two bits of news. The first one is that on the weekend of Valentine's Day. When's that? Uh, the Saturday night before Valentine's Day, the 13th of February, your boy here, I'm gonna do a charity uh, quiz night. I don't know what to call it yet. Maybe like a Valentine's date night quiz or something. Um, because during lockdown weekends are just a bit sucky. Um, and so I just thought it'd be cool to put on some kind of Saturday night a thing where we can all get together um, and have a good laugh, you know, 
bring your, bring your partners along, scull some drinks, um, and just make a night of it. So that'll be on the 13th of February, um, and I'll update the links to that in the description. Also, uh, today, I believe, the 4th of Feb, Chestnut Products are doing a live stream uh, with the Tiny Turner, Emma Cook, uh, on their YouTube channel. So link to that in the description. Uh, should be a really good informative live stream. Um, and yeah, they're an awesome team over there. And that starts at 7.15 p.m. UK time today. So moving on, what cool videos have we got to share this week? Well, obviously, your boy over here's Skillshare classes. Yeah, how to make a hammered silver ring. Uh, the product photography for Etsy. Yes, please, don't mind if I do. Go and check those out on Skillshare. Also, Patrick Adair Designs uh, made this awesome video. It wasn't this week, it was a couple of weeks ago uh, where he made like a Zerkutai uh, ring uh, with four alloys and a single ring. Um, and basically, it's a really cool video. Uh, there are some quite dramatic shots of like the flame shooting off the ring as it's getting machined And I think that the final piece turned out absolutely beautiful uh, So go and check out that video on Patrick's channel links are in the description Not that he needs shout outs from the likes of me man's got millions of subscribers Okay, and the next cool video was from change you can wear where he made a rose gold ring with a French cut stone settings i think that's what they're called uh but basically uh he made this cool valentine's day ring um and it looks absolutely incredible um i love uh this guy's content you know it's always so informative really easy to watch and i love his lo-fi hip-hop background music so go and check out change you can wear uh, with his video called making a gold fishtail french cut ring so before we get into your guys submissions time to do my maker shout out for the week and this week i would like to shout out leroy's wooden tattoos on instagram uh, this guy is a phenomenal uh jewelry designer uh, he makes handmade like hand carved skull rings um, and he's the jewelry designer to the stars um, from his instagram profile quick spin through and you'll see that he's made rings for uh, Cal Drogo himself, Jason Momoa, uh, and also Lenny Kravitz. Um, and uh, when I made this skull ring YouTube video, uh, he was really supportive and actually ordered one for himself, which is, you know, just such a, a nice thing to do to help support another maker. So check out uh, Leroy's wooden tattoos on Instagram. I mean, this ring here is literally just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the guy is just absolutely phenomenally uh, gifted at carving rings into skulls, <laughs> which I just think is mega cool. Um, and they all have got like these uh, silver liners on them. And there's all sorts of little details that other skull carvers kind of don't include. Like um, some of them have like little gold teeth or uses like unusual materials, um, like, you know, different like resin and woods and um, all sorts of different bones. Just check out Leroy's wooden tattoos, absolutely sick and such a, a, a nice and supportive maker as well. Bosh. All right, submissions. This week's submissions. <laughs> this first one came from, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Is it? Fee Who Forge, Fee Who Forge, uh, on Instagram, um, and it's a unicorn skull. <laughs> when I started this series, uh, you know, back in December, I literally never thought that someone would uh, submit a unicorn skull uh, for my consideration <laughs> and critique. Um, my girlfriend's got a horse, and I honestly think that if I bought her one of these, it would make possibly the worst Valentine's Day gift ever for her. But I think it's really cool. I kind of want one. Um, I think it'd be awesome to have like a, a unicorn skull up on a plaque on the wall in the workshop. <laughs> or just make a cool coat hanger, you know? Um, 
I mean, what can you say? I think that's it's bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, but the the horn, I believe, is carved out of wood. So I think you've done a, a really good um, job on carving that spiral down the horn. It looks like a stuck in there securely i'm not sure how is it mechanically fitted or is it just the glue either way fair play i hope that you sell a few i hope that uh you get widely known for being the, the unicorn unicorn skull creator guy mental <laughs> i love it though i love it uh so thank you fair who forge sorry if i butcher your guys names every week uh fee who fair who forge uh, the unicorn skull dudes. That's <laughs> sick. Thank you so much for sharing that. It really brought a smile to my face. All right. This next submission was, well, he didn't actually submit it directly to me, uh, but this is uh, one of the students from the Next Level Wooden Rings course. Uh, Rick's Rings and Things. Basically, over the last few weeks, uh, Rick has been sharing uh, various like uh, bangle bracelet designs he's been working on and I feel like he's peaked right here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure what the wood is, it looks to be some kind of uh, dyed grey wood, possibly maple, not quite sure. Uh, but there then is like this inlay of blue opal um, and I think that that would be extremely tricky to do. Uh, I'm really impressed by the, you know, how straight that inlay channel is. You know, the opal is flush to the wood. Beautiful use of colors, beautiful shape, just an all over nice design. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there are a few little like uh, darker spots in that opal inlay. And they are pieces of Campo del Cielo meteorite. So, Ticks all the boxes, really, doesn't it? It's got, uh, you know, nice colours, nice shape, well made, a bit of uh, a bit of history, and, you know, bits of space. There's bits of rock from outer space. What more can you want? Ricks, rings and things. Epic Bentwood bracelet. I think it's very, very cool. Okay, then we had a few... Uh, Wooden ring submissions. Uh, this one came from uh, Bear Man Wood, Bear underscore Man underscore Wood, in Newcastle upon Tyne. And this one, a uh, small oak ring, which is four mil wide, and it looks to have like a stainless steel liner. Um, so I think that you've done a really good job there with machining the wood to uh, fit around the the metal core the wood looks really nice and smooth it's got a lovely shape to it and i bet the four mil wide are super comfortable to wear also the inside of the metal isn't too scratched up so great work there um, i'm not sure what type of finish is on the wood uh, it looks to be just maybe like some kind of wax or oil um so i mean it's up to you if you wanted to add a bit of extra protection uh with either a ca glue or a uv resin finish and i think that would look absolutely pimping this next submission from serbia belgrade wood um i can't understand the captions uh but it's just a couple of bent wood rings uh, good job on the wood inlay on that one. That is a very tricky thing to do. Uh, and Belgrade Wood actually sent me a, a question asking what sort of finish do I use on my wooden rings. So as I just said for the previous one, um, my preferred finish is CA glue. But UV resin can actually be a lot easier to apply and a bit more forgiving. So yeah, um... Keep up the good work. I would say perhaps that you sanded a bit too much on the um, on the outer edges of the wood. So you can kind of see that like the top layer of the wood kind of busted through with the sanding. Uh, so maybe just chill a little bit on the sanding uh, on the next one. Although it does look cool and give UV resin or super glue finish a try. And I think that you will be flying. Okay, next submission was Crow's Pocket on Instagram. And this one was 
oak with lapis lazuli inlay. Um, so this one looks to be just like a turned ring, uh, which is absolutely fine. Um, I'm not sure what type of finish is over the top. Uh, maybe like a CA finish, but look at it, it looks kind of shiny. Um, so I would maybe use kind of more finish just to add uh, some strength and some integrity because turned rings snap so easily. Um, I, I kind of do like the uh, chunky look of that inlay though, just using, you know, big chunks of the lapis lazuli. Um, it's kind of got like a cool rustic look to it, which I really like. So my advice would be to just keep on crafting um, and yeah, experiment with some finishes. UV resin is the easiest. CA glue is slightly faster to apply. So yeah, just give them a go. See what works best for you. All right. Uh, this one was submitted by Jeff Wiley. Uh, Jeff said, this is my second attempt at Bentwood rings. This time it's an African mahogany with maple. Um, and he's learnt additional lessons and gained more experience. So look, I love the choice of materials. Um, mahogany and maple work together really well. Um, the photo is like the, the foreground of the photo is like a little bit blurry. So I can't really see too much uh, of the detail. So that is why I created that product photography class on Skillshare, which you can get access to for free for two weeks. Lots of other product photography videos on there as well. Um, so that might help. Um, as far as the actual ring goes, um, I can't really tell. It might need to be slightly like thicker, like maybe add one layer of wood. I get asked a lot of the time, like how many layers of wood veneer do I use to make like the thickness of the ring? So I use three. I can't tell from the photo there, uh, but it looks only to be two. I might be wrong though. If it is three layers, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, so uh, yeah, Jeff, just keep on cracking, bro. We're doing really well. Uh, it's only a second attempt. And believe me, my second attempt at making a bentwood ring was a bloodbath. So you're already leagues and bounds ahead of where I was when I started. Next, uh, Jason Weiss or Jason Weiss. Wise. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm terrible at pronouncing these names. Um, this looks to be a uh, black ceramic with uh, a true stone, a true stone uh, outer. And it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Love the choice of materials, those kind of like veins uh, in the true stone are really complimented, really complimented by that inner black ceramic core. Um, the surface of the true stone looks really well polished um, and it's just a nice clean photograph. So I would give that a 10 out of 10 for a true stone ring. Excellent work, Jason. Keep it up, bro. Moving on, uh, a nice chap sent me this one. Neil Slack um, sent me this via Facebook. Uh, and this one again, I think is black ceramic core uh, with a dicro lamb inlay. Wicked, so happy to see people uh, using dicro lamb uh, in their rings. Uh, it's just such a cool material. It looks amazing and I found that I can, couldn't actually take a photo that did it any justice. Um, so great work, Neil. Uh, Neil sent me another photo of a ring uh, with uh, opal in it, uh, but I decided not to include the opal one this week because um, I just feel like I've just been sharing too many opal rings. Maybe we've, maybe we've hit peak opal ring. I'm not quite sure. What do you think? Have we hit peak opal rings? Are they like the resin river tables of 2018? <laughs> what do you reckon? I'd really love to hear your guys' perspective on that. Uh, but look, cool ring. Uh, got a lovely finish over the top of the Dicro Lamb. Um, and yeah, it's just cool to see people experimenting with new and interesting materials. All right, and speaking of new and interesting materials, uh, this ring was from Oddwood Design on Instagram. He made this cool ring uh, with his, 
his friend's late father's drumstick uh, and also a drumstick from his two-year-old son as well uh, so look I think that, that is an amazing idea um, looks like Sean has taken a plane to the drumsticks to make like a swirl of wood and then use that wood uh, to like kind of make like a bent wood design on the outside of a metal core looks absolutely phenomenal and what a cool story behind a piece of jewelry i've made a lot of rings for like uh, musicians who play stringed instruments but i've never actually seen anyone make a ring from a drumstick before so i'm really happy uh, to see that someone could do it um super cool and i hope when you sell a few bro uh, which i think brings us on to the final submission the ultimate the ultimate submission of the week comes from Cooper's Custom Rings and this one is a steampunk style ring in black ceramic so uh, watch part inlays on a black ceramic core I love the photograph it really tells the story of the piece you know with the ring kind of laying on the mountain of um, watch parts and cogs and stuff and then for the actual ring itself um, I made these a few of these over the years I actually made a YouTube video about it um, and I found it really difficult not to get you know bubbles in between the cogs and stuff uh, but it looks like uh, Cooper's custom rings have avoided that entirely and just made an absolutely phenomenal piece of jewelry um, I love everything about it can't say anything bad about that that is an absolutely awesome ring I would actually wear that myself so um, I think that brings us to the end of this week it is like I said at the start links are in the description to everyone's Instagram profiles check out the videos of Patrick a day and change you can wear uh, right pretty cool um, and if you do want to see some in-depth tutorials from me which are not on YouTube uh, then go and sign up for Skillshare uh, for 14 days free trial it's $19 a month after that but you can cancel whenever you want and I, I'll get a small financial commission but it's not much it's just enough to uh, buy me some coffee and give me the energy to make videos like this so who do you think should have got the thumbnail this week I think it's got to go to the unicorn skull but that's just me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, if you have any submissions, then just tag me up on Facebook, Instagram, at Zabrano Woodcraft, and I would love to feature you uh, on next week's show, which is on Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. So until the next one, do all the usual YouTube mal blah, 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 malarkey. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.